In this video, we'll be going over replay settings. So let's enter replay mode. Now you can access the replay settings by clicking on the gear icon found on the right hand corner of the replay mode bar. Now the following settings apply to the playback of data in replay mode. Let's start with source data. Our first choice is bar data, and each bar is used to generate four ticks, the open, the high, the low, and close. So if you select bar data and you are on a daily chart, then it will play the open, high, low, and close as separate ticks. If you were then moved down to the, let's say, the one minute chart, then it will use the open, high, low, close values of the one minute bar as ticks. So let's take a look. So let's turn on power, the replay mode. We're on the daily now. And if we step tick by tick, you'll notice that these are the daily bar ticks. So open, high, low, close. Now if we go over to the minute bar, it will have the four ticks as well. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's power down, go back to settings. The other option for source data is the tick data option. Now, if your broker or data service provides the historical tick data, then this may be used. Of course, if it doesn't provide it, then it will not be available. Now, with the bar data and minute data options, you have the option here to generate ticks, and if it's enabled, MotiveWave will generate a set of ticks beyond the open, high, low, close values for playback. Now, of course, if you have tick data, um, this option will not apply because you already have your ticks. You have here the option to select real delay, and if this option is checked, MotiveWave will simulate the delay between the ticks by using the tick timestamps. So you can use this if you'd like to simulate the actual playback of ticks in real time. So if we select it, you'll notice now that the speed factor becomes available. And the speed factor applies to the real delay option as we mentioned here above. So this allows you to speed up or slow down the playback of ticks in real time by different factors. So one would be uh, the actual time. And then you can always go ahead and change the factors as you wish. So in this case, if I wanted to go 10 times faster than real delay, then I can go ahead and do that. Okay. Step until price change. Now, if this is enabled, it will keep playing ticks until the price changes when pressing the play button instead of a single tick at a time. Now, if real delay is not checked, you'll have tick delay and bar delay available to you. The tick delay adds a delay between the play of each tick, while the bar delay is a delay to wait between the playback of each bar. So if I were to change this to, let's say, 500 milliseconds, which is a half a second, to 1,000 milliseconds, which is one second, let's update, power on. Actually, let's power down. Let's go back and change this to bar data, update. Let's power on replay mode. Now I'm going to select fast forward here and you're going to notice as it steps through all the ticks, there's going to be a half a second delay between ticks and a full second delay between bars. So let's give that a try. So here's your half second delay and there's your one second delay. One second, one second, one second, and so forth. Let's go back, let's power down, bring back settings. Now replay link, we can use this option to link the replay mode across multiple charts. So we can either select a specific link group or the page, and that will be a separate video. Then we have replay account options. Now the replay account is useful if you intend to place the trades in replay mode. If it's enabled, a special account will be created. In this case, it will be called replay-1. And it will track all orders, positions, and historical trades for the replay session. You can change your base currency, and you can also change your cash balance. 
Here you have the option to include commissions, and that will come from your configure commissions, and here's where you would specify your commissions. Okay, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.